I want to be 93 and still kicking. These ain't the best years of my life. My name's Kyle, and this video marks the official first week of my senior year of college. For those of you new to the channel, I'm 24 years old and I'm an industrial engineering major. I started college when I was 18, just like everyone else, but I've had some hiccups along the way. The summer just before college, I remember my uncle pulling me aside at a family cookout and being like, hey, I need to talk to you, listen. These next few years of college are going to be the best years of your life. You need to really go do everything you can and soak it up and enjoy it because your whole life you're going to live looking back knowing that like this, this was college, these were the days and all this stuff. And at the time I was really rolling my eyes. And right now I can sit here and say from 18 to 24 going through college, these really were the best years of my life. But the point is that they were the best years of my life this far. I mean, for real, guys, it was a complete 180 change in mentality and in vision and how I saw the world. I got to school. I started clothing on with my cousin in the dorm room. I'm sure I said that a hundred times if you've been a part of the channel, um, just off the cuff. And then I went through the whole, you know, kind of college party phase. And then I studied abroad in Hong Kong. Then I came back. I dropped out of school. I ended up getting an internship at an engineering firm and then got <laughs> getting back into school in now I'm like kind of like sitting where I'm at right now. I've already been back in school since then for about a year and I've just had a lot going on and one of my biggest regrets up to this point, even though these past four or five years have been six years cheese, have been the best is that I didn't document enough of them. Like I wish I had YouTube videos of starting the clothing line with my cousin and I wish I had YouTube videos of going to Hong Kong and I had the mentality, this romantic mentality of I don't want to look at life through a screen or a lens or I want to be able to like fully embrace in the moment. Well I'll tell you what guys, I like I agree with that sometimes but right now I'm really regretting not having videos out there to like share with the world and people and like share with just myself on private just to see like all these moments. And that's exactly what I want to be able to do with these last few semesters left. I want to be able to make videos, answer you guys' questions, give you guys as much information as I can in any sort of way that you want me to. One thing I'm going to really try to be able to do is I'm going to try to get out of this room more often, get out of these rooms and talking to you like this and be able to walk around and show you some engineering stuff, show you the cars, show you the buildings, show you these teams. So I'm going to give you guys some content right now that I'm already kind of like working up in my mind of competitions and events that are coming up this semester. So just keep in mind these are some video ideas that I have coming up that I'm probably going to be making where it's not just sitting in this room, it's more running around and on top of whatever you guys come up with on top of whatever I figure out you know, in between now and then that I also want to do. The first one is a Target case study competition. And this is a competition where Target Corporate brings our school a problem they have and then you pair up in teams and work together and try to solve the problem. And it's essentially a competition for $1,500. The second thing is a NASA rocket competition. I'm a part of an organization here on campus where we're going to design a rocket throughout the semester, design every part of it, and then launch it during the summer. And I'll, that's more to come. I'll tell you guys more about what we're trying to do and sending real-time information and our goals about it coming up. But just know it's gonna be a series where I'm giving you guys inside information and like giving you updates and telling you guys like what it is we're trying to do and you'll see the whole process. The third thing is I'm gonna to try to drive the eco car here on campus. For those of you who don't know, we have a nationally recognized eco car team here on campus where they took a nice car and turned it into an energy efficient car and they compete nationally. And more to come on that, more to come. The fourth thing is I wanna interview professors who changed my perspective on learning. So math professors, some industrial engineering professors, just people who really, they told me or they said something or they did something in the classroom that really kinda of shifted gears in my mind. I feel like if I was able to get them on camera and talk to them and present them to you guys, that you guys have opportunity of feeling like that same way of getting these gears turning and like, ooh, it's just good. It's good stuff. The fifth thing is Black Tees and Engineering Podcast. I'm doing a podcast where I'm just interviewing students and teachers and anything else we want to talk about involving engineering probably will trickle into regular life stuff. And it basically the point is it's long form content. Those of you who want to just plug it in and listen to it as you go throughout school or whatever, that's going to be there. And the sixth and maybe the most interesting is I'm going back to the company that I interned with, the consulting company this summer. So I'm going to be able to consistently and regularly produce content for you guys from hotels around the country going around. 
as I'm consulting, and no, I won't be able to drop company names, no, I won't be able to like specifically talk about what exactly I'm working on or, or what I'm doing, but I will be able to take things that I'm learning in the field and, and consistently like engaging with and be able to warp that into a video to give you guys more practical information. So that is gonna be one of the coolest things, I think. And that's it for the update, guys. Leave me comments or information on what you guys wanna see out of this channel. But one more thing, back to what my uncle said, Oh no, I don't believe in that. I want to be 93 and still kicking. These ain't the best years of my life. This rubber, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire, 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 fire. Hope someone sees it, bless me.